That's when you tell a girl, mind your business, okay? What's up? What's up, divas? What's up, devos? What's up, everybody? What's up, trolls? We here in the building. We in the building today. Tonight, this afternoon, this morning, whenever you're watching this video, we in the building. It's time for a wig review. Thought I'd come through and not do a voiceover with you, you know, so y'all can hear my voice. Let y'all know how much I love y'all. Oh, damn, I needed to. I did. I got to put the damn lotion on my hands. Damn. With that being said, we just gonna get into this video. I worked with them, I think, a couple of times, which is called Beauty Forever. So they sent me this lace front wig here. I did measure this. It comes out to be 13 points, um, 13 by 2.3 and a quarter, okay, inches, which is 2.75, okay. So this is not even a full four. I'm not really sure what it's advertised as, but I'm just, you know, I did measure it. Yes, I did pluck some of it, but you know. I know I didn't pluck off all that. Other than that, you know, I did bleach it and I did pre-pluck it. And as you see here, it's got flexi rods in it. So a girl did pre-style it, if that's what you want to call it. So we're just going to jump into this. I'm going to take these flexi rods out and also cut the lace in the nape, which the unit does come with combs and the adjustable strap. There isn't any elastic bands in this unit. I don't even remember if it came with any elastic. You'll find that out in a second when I show you how you're weak. I can hear them thinking out loud, loud. Simple so proud, proud. I hear them talking, talking, talking about us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear them thinking out loud. Mm. One might think it's obvious. Please don't spill your mind when you don't. Have a clue, hey Not really too happy with the way these curls came out. They're like kind of tight and all over the place. First thing I did was style it with my curling wand. I think it's like an inch and a half barrel. It is. It's an inch and a half barrel curling wand. And then just to hold the curls, I, you know, put the flexi rods in it. And they were the biggest ones that I had, which I think are the biggest size in general. But I'm going to just take my blow dryer after I finish applying it and try to get some of those tight curves, curls out. I need to go put some lotion on my dry hands. They are dry? Dang. All right, you guys. So did I forget to mention that Beauty Forever is actually AliExpress, available on AliExpress, girl. I love stuff on AliExpress. You could get like major stuff for cheap affordable prices you know what I'm saying and the shipping is quick especially for lace front wigs so girls guys check AliExpress for beauty forever okay so y'all already know the norm what I do right here and in case you're wondering why does the lace around the hairline perimeter look a little bit white that is due to my fault I kind of left the bleach on a little bit too long in the front area which gave it kind of like white speckles and I also noticed that when I was plucking the edges that you know once I started pulling the hair out so be careful when you're bleaching your unit you don't want to over bleach it and this was only in the front area nothing like too major you can easily like get around that now here you see I'm just cutting the lace this is what needs to be done girl because you don't want to go outside with that lace on your hairline 
you know what I'm saying so make sure that you cut that off try to get close to the hairline not too close because you don't want any of the hairs to fall out now me I do cut a little bit of the hairs out because you know I don't need it to be all the way onto my eyebrows so cutting like little pieces like I just did is not going to sever the wig it's not going to destroy the wig but it also depends on how you want it to fit now I am going to cut some of the white little roots off right there just that way you know it fit me better but yeah beauty forever has been around for a minute I've worked with them prior they have hair on AliExpress girl check them out super affordable this one is 22 inches 180% density volume girl body wave body wave okay but um yeah so I'm just gonna make me some baby hairs on this unit and but first I'm going to adhere it as you see I am pulling the hairs out at the front of the hairline this is how I like to adhere my wig like apply it install it but you know everybody has their own preferences you do what suits you boo okay so if you have another method of um, adhering your wig, like installing it, making it stick, then you do you boo. Do what makes you feel comfortable. But I have doing it, been doing it like this and it actually really works for me. So what you know, what I said, you guys, make sure you have some really good hair tools. I love these clips. You can get the clips at the Dollar Tree. And then my hairspray that I use is by the brand Bedhead. And this is also available in any beauty supply store or I get mine actually from Amazon you will see the price differential is much better on Amazon versus buying this in any store like Sally's or so forth they have bedhead for an awful high price so I do like to get my cans of certain beauty supplies from Amazon so definitely check Amazon out you know what I'm got you know what I mean and as well as that, the blow dryer did come from Amazon too. I absolutely love it. I spray my hairspray in between the parts that I made. And when it comes to the ear tab portion, I do spray that underneath as well as on top because I do need it to be a little bit stronger than the norm hold. The ear tabs are always kind of tricky. You definitely want to spray enough hairspray, gel, or kind of glue, whatever you're going to use to make sure that the ends of the wig, like the ear tabs, work good. Now here I'm just going to be separating the hairs of where I want the baby hairs to actually be placed. So I'm just going to be moving them out of the way and just giving them a particular spot. I have plans for baby hairs. Okay, girl, I have plans for baby hairs. Now, I know you guys do not really see me too much in a middle part, but girl, I am liking the middle parts these days, especially on certain hairs. And this one just seemed like the best parting would be in the middle because it felt like to me that you get the most out of the parting of the unit is in the middle. You could definitely part it on the sides, but for me, I just decided to do it in the middle because that's where it seemed like it was giving me the most amount of parting. Now look, a little swoopity swoop with some of that Dollar Tree styling mousse, which definitely will keep your baby hairs uh, crunch free. Okay, crunch free girl. And in case you guys want to know what size barrel I used, this was about a one and a half inch barrel that I used to curl the hair. And as you guys see, I am blow drying the hair and I'm not really blow drying, excuse me, I'm using my blow dryer system here with the volume density brush just to change the curl pattern. But I did notice that it had like little tiny hairs, kind of like if you can see it. I'm not really sure if you guys can see it that great, but you'll see right here, um, the little hairs are kind of like sprout, sprouting up. Um, that was the part that I really didn't care for too much. I really like it to be laid more you know more tamed more but um a good styling mousse will definitely you know help that out and i'm done with this unit it came out really cute for the price it's affordable you know body wave honey you just need to know how to take care of your unit all right all right you guys so i'm done i'm tired i'm done i need a nap eyes are heavy um this is it like this is it for beauty forever 
So it came out okay. The only issue I have is with myself. Like sometimes I be having issues with myself, okay? I kind of like over bleached in a certain area, like in the front where the roots are at. So you'll see them looking white. Um, that's the reason why I put so many baby hairs right there is to kind of like camouflage it. But um, yeah, and you can see it right here on camera. It's kind of like, you know, whitish color, but that's my own fault from overdoing it, like over bleaching it. It came out decent. Like on a scale of one to 10, what would I rate the hair? I probably would rate it like a six and a half, a seven. Um, I did notice that when I was like blow drying it, it had all these little hairs just like sticking up as I was blow drying it. And it looks, it just, it just was like a haze of little hairs. That is what I don't really care for. Um, but for the most part, like it's easy to curl. It's just like a regular body wave. You know what I mean? Easy to curl, low luster. Like, listen, it's affordable hair as long as you take care of it. I would say to deep condition it and then probably put like a little bit of Moroccan oil on it. Not, Let's not make it like a greasy chicken, but just a little bit. So that way you can have like a better, like more luster to it. But like I said, it's not a lot of parting. So the parting is done right here, but this is still a decent amount of parting unless you're one of those who like that parting to be all the way back. But for the most part, like this is decent amount. I really don't foresee somebody being on top of your head unless they really tall. And they'd be like, girl, what happened to the rest of your part? Why you didn't part it all the way through? That's when you tell a girl, mind your business, okay? For well, this price, it's decent, you know what I mean? Affordable, what I say, y'all can get some affordable hair and still look brand new and expensive like that expensive stuff. So yes, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I got to go, you know, Girl, I got to do another video. Okay. But I hope y'all have a great day whenever you're watching this. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I love you all. And I'll see y'all in the next one.